Hello folks, last week a report came out shedding some supposed light on Samsung's choice of front-facing camera for next year's Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus smartphones. We made a video about this, the link to it is in the description. And while in that case the news was good, with the rumor saying the devices in question could ship with upgraded selfie cameras, the same apparently can't be said for the telephoto shooter on the rear. After 4 years, Samsung finally upgraded the telephoto camera on the vanilla and plus versions of its high-end phone. Phones. The Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S22 Plus feature 10 megapixel telephoto cameras with 3x optical zoom. Next year, the company might not improve it further. According to a report from the folks over at Galaxy Club, the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus will feature 10 megapixel telephoto cameras with 3x optical zoom similar to their predecessors. Of course, certain evolutionary improvements are possible, not to mention software optimizations and so on. But either way, there are almost surely no major upgrades in this department. And that is totally okay. Honestly, unless you're going from an S22 to the S23, anyone going from the S21 on down will be getting a fairly upgraded camera. Information about the primary and ultra-wide cameras on those upcoming smartphones hasn't been revealed yet. Rumors indicate that the Galaxy S23 Ultra may use a 200 megapixel camera sensor, probably the ISOCELL HP1. However, the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus may stick to 50 megapixels main cameras since Samsung introduced them just this year with the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy S22 Plus. What Samsung needs to improve is the ultra-wide camera. Although the 12 megapixels ultra-wide cameras on Samsung's flagship are not bad, they could use a hardware upgrade, especially compared to the 48 and 50 megapixels ultra-wide cameras seen on most Chinese flagship phones. Of course, this is just an unconfirmed rumor at this point. And since we're many months away from the launch of these models, even if this information is true right now, Samsung could still change its plans before it releases the Galaxy S23 family, keep that in mind. Qualcomm has finally revealed the dates for its next Snapdragon Tech Summit event. This year, the annual event will be held from November 14 to November 17. While the event's location hasn't been revealed, it is expected to be held in Hawaii as usual. During its annual tech event, Qualcomm could unveil its next generation flagship mobile chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. This chipset is expected to be used in the Galaxy S23 series. Rumors indicate that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will continue to use TSMC's 4 nanometers process, similar to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, so overheating and throttling shouldn't be a huge issue. Phones with the upcoming Snapdragon chipset, including the Xiaomi 13 series, are rumored to launch in December 2022. Previous leaks claimed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will feature an unusual 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 CPU cluster. It could have one Cortex-X3 CPU core, two Cortex-A720, two Cortex-A710 and three Cortex-A510 CPU cores. It could also feature the Adrena 740 GPU. As usual, we can expect a built-in 5G modem with the fastest download and upload speeds and various other wireless technologies, including Wi-Fi 6E, GPS and Bluetooth 5.3. We talked about the upcoming chip in more detail in this video. Watch it at the link in the description. Although Samsung is developing the Exynos 2300 chipset, it is rumored that the smartphone business might not use it in the Galaxy S23 series. The smartphone maker could exclusively use Snapdragon processors for the next two years. It has reportedly created a team of around 1000 engineers to make a custom chipset for high-end Galaxy phones and it could be launched in 2025. Time will tell. For now guys, that's all I wanted to tell you. Thanks for watching. Share this video with your friend and good luck.